I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you a test question based on circle theorem. Question number six. Find the angle ABC and angle DAB in the following figure. You can always pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. So what we're given here is a circle with a cyclic quadrilateral, right? Four vertices of a quadrilateral are on the vertex, on the circumference, and so it's a cyclic quadrilateral. We're given a tangent line ST. So this is the tangent. Diagram is not to the scale, but wherever it seems that it is a tangent, we'll assume that to be so, right? Now, find the angle ABC. ABC is this angle which we need to figure out. Let's call this X. And angle TAB, TA and B is the other angle. This one, let's call this as Y. Now, you can see that in the quadrilateral, we have to find angle B, which is one of the angles of cyclic quadrilateral. So that means we should figure out what is the angle opposite to it. Sum of these two is 180 degrees. That should help. So, so let's figure out what this angle is. Now angle ADC is equal to 180 degrees because it's a linear angle, straight line, minus 102 degrees, correct? The reason is straight line. It makes 180 degrees, right? So that is how you can get ADC, 180 minus 102. So 10 take away 2 is 8, 78 degrees. So this is 78 degrees. An angle B, which let me write this as angle ABC, which we need to figure out, should be equal to 180 degrees take away 78, right? Which will be 102, right? So that happens to be equal to this angle. Do you see that? But this is based on our rule, that is, sum of opposite angles in cyclic quadrilateral. is 180 degrees, right? So the idea is that in such questions you have to give appropriate reasons based on circle theorem. So that's what it is. Now let's figure out how to find Y. Now this is the angle which is formed by the tangent and the chord. So I mean the chord is up to here. Tangent and the chord which takes this segment into effect, right? Tangent and the chord. So whenever we have this combination of tangent and the chord, then the rule which links it is alternate segment theorem. Now if you look at the angle, which should be equal to the angle Y, you can look at the opposite side, which seems to be this one. So it is equal to that angle. So let's find out what is the angle ACB. So angle ACB is a part of the triangle ABC should be equal to 180 degrees, take away angle B. Angle B is 102, this is 102 degrees. So take away 102 degrees and take away 38 degrees, right? So that gives us angle ACB, right? So 180 take away 102, we have already run is 78, and from 78 take away 38 gives us 40 degrees, correct? So we get the angle as 40 degrees. So Y is 40 degrees. So if you add these, it becomes 180, so y is equals to 40 degrees. So angle TA, 
B is equal to angle ACB and that is equal to 40 degrees based on alternate segment theorem right so I hope uh, you understand the basic steps to solve such question it is a relatively difficult question from the set we are dealing in feel free to post questions and your suggestions thank you and all the best